smart. I am bold. I am strong. I am smart. I am bold. Make your mark. Make your mark. Make your mark. Make your mark. I'm Betsy Bykoff, and I was the Vice President and Chief Grant Making Officer of the Richard M. Fairbanks Foundation, and now I'm a philanthropic and nonprofit consultant. Hi, I'm Dr. Mercy Obeymi, Director of Community and Global Health. Franciscan St. Francis Health. My name is Maria Quintana and I am recently retired from J.P. Morgan Chase where I spent 35 years primarily focused on government, not-for-profit, and healthcare. My name is Pat Garrett Rooney. Uh, my degree was in education and fortunately I was able to use that with children's television first in Fort Wayne and then later here in Indianapolis with Kindergarten College. I think the one significant initiative really made a big difference taking on the merger for Bank One and for Chicago MBD. Uh, the idea of merging two financial institutions was somewhat overwhelming. The good news for me is I had a number of mentors, a number of uh, folks that actually specialized in merger integration throughout the system. Uh, from out of the state that came in and helped to coach and mentor me along the way. My grandmother was very interested in education. My mother is probably the first person in her little village to have gone to school as a woman. And then um, growing up, they made a simple rule which, said, which was if you were studying, then you, were, you would not be disturbed. So you didn't have to do any chores. And knowing that I didn't want to do those things, I studied all the time. So what I would tell anybody who is young and at that age is study and let your education get you to the highest point in your, of your capability. Maximize your potential when it comes to education. Know that there is great opportunity for, for one to be successful if one um, steps forward and works hard you know, growing up in Nigeria at the age of 12, I was in boarding school. And um, I found out at that time that I was actually poor, something that was very new to me. And I kind of made a pact with myself at that time and at that age that I did not want to be poor the rest of my life. And I was going to do whatever I could, not just to get myself out of poverty, but also get my family out. And um, that's something that I think I've done, and I'm really, really grateful. Always try to do the very best you can. You never know what's down the road next. Every job you do, every activity you do, is going to help you with the next opportunity. It's going to open doors for you. It's going to be something that you maybe never thought about. So always try to do your best. And so ha if I had the ability to have had a, a, a programs like Girls Inc. Offers, where I could be more focused on the future, um, I think it would have made a significant difference. I think I had a slower start to my career as a result. Be the best you can be. As a person, give back and use your talents. Everybody has talents, doesn't matter who. Search within yourself and find out what is it you can give. Be grateful and live a life of gratitude. I am so excited for all of the young women here in Indianapolis um, and in Indiana that have the opportunity to uh, interact 
and participate with Girls Inc. Girls Inc. is incredibly important to Indianapolis. They, they make their mark one girl at a time and I just think that's so important. What they do with volunteers to have them lead the, lead the programs that they have, particularly in the facilities that are close to where the girls are, I just think they do a remarkable job. Make your mark. Make your mark. Make your mark. Make your mark. Make your mark.